Hey there, YouTube. Welcome back to Simple Sanctuary Garden. My name is Sarah. We're doing something a little bit different today because it's been kind of rainy. There's not a ton going on in the garden right now, but I am gearing up to go to my best friend's wedding and I need to practice my updo. <laughs> so I thought I would show you guys what I do to put my hair up for formal occasions. It works really well on long hair and on thick hair, which is kind of a rarity. Um, all my thick haired girls know a lot of updos tend to like give you a headache and pinch and pull. And this one really doesn't do that. It supports itself pretty nicely. So I hope you guys enjoy. Before we get started, here are some of the tools, I guess is what we're gonna call them. First are these nice clear ouchless hair ties, just called rubber bands. Um, I use the clear ones because I have blonde hair and any color is going to show up very obviously on me. Uh, if you have dark hair, you may not have to get the clear ones, but that's just what I get. And then you're going to need some bobby pins. Um, I got a fresh pack. You're going to need a hairbrush, probably unsurprisingly. And then because you're doing this yourself, you're going to want some form of mirror. Actually, you're really gonna want two mirrors so that you can look in one to see in the other to see the back of your head. Um, I'm not very fancy with it and have a compact. That's, I, that's what I use to look into my bathroom mirror, which is right over there. Um, see the back of my head. It's a really high tech operation. Another thing, that you may have heard is that when you're putting your hair up, you don't want it freshly washed. Um, and for the most part, this is true. But if you have freshly washed your hair, if you forgot, if you just couldn't stand it, whatever, no worries. Get some dry shampoo and simply spray it down here, not at the roots like you normally would, but down here in the lower part of your hair to give it some texture. Um, even though my hair is thick because I have a lot of it, it is actually very um, fine. So for instance, it won't hold a curl. It slips out of braids really easily. You've probably seen that in previous videos. So I typically, whether it's freshly washed or not, will put some dry shampoo down in this bottom half of my hair. All right, now that our hair is brushed and we've gone over the materials, let's get started. Separate your hair as if you were pulling it half back or grab two front pieces. If your hair is thick, two pieces will be easier than the full half back. You'll secure this with a rubber band. And then pull that small ponytail through itself in a loop. Use this small ponytail, um, separate and pull to pull it tight and secure. This will help with the height and also give you some volume. You can give it a little zhuzh here if you're worried about your hair parting down the back. Repeat that process with your full ponytail. Pull all of your hair into a ponytail and secure with another elastic, elastic before pulling through again. I like to wiggle my fingers to make sure there's no hair in between. Once your hair is through, pull on the ponytail again to secure just like last time. And then give it another zhuzh just to make sure that your hair is where you want it. And it doesn't ever hurt to check in the mirror to make sure that you're happy with it. Next, you're going to braid the ponytail. I just do a basic three strand plait, but any kind of braid should work here. And when you reach the end of your braid, you'll just secure with your third elastic rubber band.
It can be a bit tricky sometimes, but don't forget to pull the braid tight to help keep it secure. Okay, the hardest parts are done. You guys probably noticed I did not speed that up. That's actually how long the hardest part of this updo takes. At this point, if you have hairspray, I recommend going ahead and giving yourself a light dusting, particularly on the braid, um, including this underside, which a lot of times we don't think about because we're gonna flip it up. So, hairspray the braid, definitely. Maybe give the rest of it a spray, particularly if you're really liking how it looks and you don't think it needs a little zhuzh. Um, you guys saw earlier. Yeah, you guys saw earlier where I zhuzhed the back so you couldn't quite see that part as much. That's all that it takes. It's really, really easy to do. Um, so now we're going into the second part of this hairstyle. It's also really easy. For this stage of the updo, you're going to want to have your bobby pins handy, either within reach or in the bobby pin holder that God gave you. At this point, we're rolling the braid up onto itself or into the tuck, uh, depending on the length of your hair. You can use pins to attach the braid to itself before tucking it in and attaching to the back of your head, which can help it to be more secure. Use your bobby pins to attach the individual strands of the braid to the back of your hair. This is the easiest way to arrange it because you can use the different strands to help lift the tuck or to pin the strands in different ways so that it covers bobby pins. If the tip of your braid pokes out the bottom the way mine has done here, simply tuck it back up and into the side and your hair should actually hold it in for you. Simply continue to pin different strands until the tuck feels secure or you're happy with the way it looks, whichever comes first for you. You may notice that as you pin and secure, other bobby pins may loosen and start to poke out. Simply push them back in, reattach them. You may want to add one or two more. Ultimately, this will lead to a hairstyle that partially supports itself and looks very elegant without pins digging into the back of your head, making for a nice evening out. All right, so that is my updo. As you can see, all you have to do is roll the braid up on itself. You can roll it tightly, you can roll it loosely. The more you practice, the easier it is to get it tighter. I prefer it a little tighter than what I have here, but this is actually my first time doing it since my company's Christmas party last year. <laughs> so I'll be practicing it a few more times. However, if I was in a rush, had some kind of surprise event that I wasn't anticipating, this would be totally fine. Also, you may have noticed, this is only five bobby pins. It feels very secure, very, very secure. I'm not gonna go like, head banging or something, <laughs> but it feels good. You can always add more bobby pins as well to secure it a little bit more tightly. And then last but not least, 
Do not forget the miracle that is hairspray and it will help hold it in place. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this <laughs> very off the cuff tutorial of how to do an updo. If you have any questions, please leave those below. I hope you found this helpful and we'll talk soon. Bye.